Questions 37 to 39. These questions are being done at an ungodly hour uh, in response to a student from class who brought some uh, brownies into class. Um, <clears throat> very kind and uh, Brisbane and uh, gave me uh, a portion and said, this is to give you the energy to keep finishing that pink booklet. <laughs> <laughs> which reminds me of a student in Perth who brought me some up and go. So I uh, promoted uh, Brizzy Brownies and up and go. And uh, so here, let's do some physics. First, I do want to mention that you should try to get in the habit <clears throat> of, of using uh, the document, your answer document, to calculate. Because you see the calculations, there's a few calculations that you might want to do for this particular unit. And uh, you should be using the free space. Now, on this particular page, there's not a lot of free space. So that means you have to get uh, in the habit of, um, of using the space available to you. Uh, there's not going to be um, a scratch paper or a uh, scrap paper, an additional document which you can use for your calculations. That's not how this exam works. So you need to um, get in the habit of being clean and neat um, in terms of your calculations. <laughs> I'm not setting the best example, but uh, <clears throat> I'm doing uh, what I can uh, because you need to be able to uh, not make mistakes just because uh, there's a stray mark or, or there's some uh, unclarity in the way that you are um, uh, you're doing your calculations. Okay, so looking at the first paragraph gives the thin len formula, which I've written out there, and uh, gives some details. Okay, in the second paragraph, so more or less, <clears throat> it gives the sign convention where f is positive for converging lens and uh, negative for diverging. And then there's a table uh, giving you information about the signs for R1 and R2. Okay, so first of all, the first question um, provides us with a biconvex lens. So bi means two. So it's convex on both surfaces is the meaning. And uh, then it has a curvature radii of uh, 60 centimeters on both sides. There you go. So even if you didn't know what biconvex uh, uh, meant, um, you know it's convex and you know it's 60 centimeters on both sides, so that's R1 and R2, and is made of material with a refractive in index of uh, 1.75. Okay, so it's plug and play. That's all we need to do here. Uh, so we, we have the equation, uh, 1 over F, and actually I might preserve that extra space, <laughs> so I'll do it over here. Uh, so we have the um, we have n minus one, so n is one point seven five. So one point seven five minus one is point seven five. So point seven five is three quarters. So I don't like to work with um, uh, with decimals because uh, decimals. Uh, will lead you into doing more complex calculations. Fractions uh, can simplify, and so it's far better to work with fractions. So, And they did that on purpose to uh, have it such that uh, 1.75 um, uh, minus 1 would make an easy fraction to be able to work with. So uh, let's take advantage of that. And then it's uh, 1 over 60, uh, that's R1, and R1 is positive, so, okay, so I have 1 over 60, which is positive, minus, and then R2 has to be negative, uh, according to the table, convex surface, so I have 1 over 60 again, but it's negative, so in other words, we have 1 over 60 minus, minus 1 over 60, and negative of negative is a positive, so we have 1 over 60 plus 1 over 60. Okay, so that's just 2 over 60. <clears throat> so I uh, quickly simplified, and uh, I also see that uh, 2 goes into 4 twice, um, 6 goes into 3 uh, twice, and so I have 1 in the numerator uh, left, and I have 2 times 20, which is 40, in the denominator <clears throat> and therefore 
f is equal to 40. There's no, you don't have to cross multiply to prove it. Uh, f is clearly equal to 40 and that is in centimeters. So f is 40 centimeters and it's also uh, clearly positive because this was a convex lens and also uh, because we worked it out and it was positive. So the answer to 37 is B. Okay, and by the way, we're working in centimeters. <clears throat> There's no need to convert to meters because everything's in centimeters. The answer is in centimeters. The, uh, the data that we're being provided is in centimeters. So we just continue to work in that way. Um, had it been otherwise, then you would have to convert into SI units. Okay, so question 38. Consider biconvex lens, okay, which we just did. So Acer does that a lot. Um, is to uh, give you something straightforward uh, to work with and then start developing some ideas based on that. Um, for which the radius of curvature of one side is quite different to the radius of curvature of the other side. Okay. Uh, what would be the effect of reversing the lens? Okay. Well, I mean, why waste time? We already have uh, a setup here. Why not just prove, you know, what it does? I already have a lens uh, refractive index, which is typical, and that gave me three quarters. So I'm going to just put that there. And uh, we have R1, R2. I'll just make them very different. Um, so I'll make uh, R1 20. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have 1 over 20. And I'll make R2 1 because that's very simple. 1 over 1 is just 1. And I know that that has to be negative according to the table. So this would be minus minus 1 or plus 1. Okay, so now I can see that this portion in brackets is just 1.05. Okay, so that's 1.05 in brackets. Let me do the reverse. So now I'm going to put this as the number 1. So that I have 1 over 1, which is 1, minus, minus 1 over 20. Oh, that's, so that's minus, minus, that's plus 1 over 20. So I get 1 over 20 uh, again here, and 1 again here. So I get the same thing. I get 1.05 and the same um, positive value. And it's going to be multiplied by the same uh, whatever. And that means it's going to get the same F, not just the same F. Uh, the same value of the F. It's the same sign of F, of course, because in the uh, second paragraph uh, I already underlined, or I would have underlined uh, for the exam, that F is positive for converging lens, and a convex lens is a converging lens. So F is clearly going to be positive here, as we did in the previous question, and uh, clearly, um, answer choice C, there would be no change um, in, in, and the lens would refract in the same way, identical, because we have the same focal length. And all the other things, inverse of the focal length, impossible. Um, uh, the lens uh, was originally converging, it would be diverging. The sign of the F didn't change from positive to negative, and the values need to be known. Uh, nope. <laughs> because it, not only in my weird example was I able to confirm it, but um, you know, I guess they just wanted to make sure that you, you did some strange example to go away from uh, what you had already done. So, uh, nonetheless, 38 is clearly C. Uh, 39, consider a symmetric uh, biconvex lens. So, symmetrical, that means that um, the R value would be the same on both sides because it's symmetric. And that has a focal length as long as its radius of curvature. Okay, um, what is the refractive index of the material used to make this lens? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look for the refractive uh, index here. Uh, we're going. We're given F. We're given R. We're given R two. They're all X. <laughs> They're all uh, uh, an unknown value and the same unknown value because it's, it's symmetric. So this X and this X are identical. And uh, we're told that the uh, focal length is as long as the radius of curvature R. So the focal length is also going to be X. So then uh, let's just write it out. 1 over X 
is going to equal uh, to n minus 1 and then 1 over x uh, minus and then a negative 1 over x okay just like we've uh, done it before now it's becoming a habit <laughs> um, so uh, this has to be negative because it's r2 and that one was positive and so we have n minus 1 and uh, so we have a common denominator here already and so we have uh, 1 over x plus 1 over x so that's just going to be 2 over x and now um, I'll just multiply both sides by x so if I multiply this side by x x cancels I multiply this side by x x cancels so uh, really all I'm left with is that the number 1 is equal to n my sorry n minus 1 <coughs> uh, times the number 2 and so then I um, divide both sides by 2 and I have 1 half is equal to n minus 1 and then I add 1 to both sides I get 1 and a half on the left side and I get to get rid of this on that side so I have 1.5 is equal to n notice I, I work with fractions all the time but once you get to the final 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 line uh, yeah it's one and a half it's 1.5 and uh, then it's um, you find the answer because they, they don't usually give you an answer in fractions sometimes but not usually and so it's best to work with fractions until the last moment and then make your conversion and if you're having problems with fractions, uh, you can go to Gamsat Math uh, in the Gold Standard um, Gamsat book, book uh, two, and uh, you can go to uh, Physics 11.5 uh, to uh, look at some uh, lenses. And because you know this is uh, just a use of equation for this uh, problem, but sometimes Acer does have questions in which uh, understanding uh, which is converging or diverging and uh, whether or not the image formed would be uh, virtual or real or if the image uh, formed will be diminished, enlarged or whether or not the image would be right-sided up or upside down. So that means uh, whether it's uh, erect or inverted.